All right, so this is not clickbait. Google DeepMind actually just dropped something huge. An AI agent called Sima2, and they say it's a major step toward AGI. As described in the title, Sima2 is an agent that plays, reasons, and learns with you in virtual 3D worlds. You might remember Google's original Sima, or Sima1, from last year. It stands for Scalable, Instructable, Multi-World Agent. And it was basically Google's first big attempt at teaching AI to turn language into meaningful action inside 3D worlds. But Sima2 is on another level. They've now integrated their advanced Gemini models into it. And they say it has evolved from a simple instruction follower into a full interactive gaming companion. They write, not only can Sima2 follow human language instructions in virtual worlds, it can now also think about its goals, converse with users, and improve itself over time. And they then go even further to say, this is a significant step in the direction of artificial general intelligence, with important implications for the future of robotics and AI embodiment in general. So I'm gonna play you guys the demo they created for this. It's actually pretty insane. And then we're gonna dive deeper into this post. We're gonna look at some real examples and side-by-side -side comparisons between Sima 1 and Sima 2. What happens when you drop Sima 2 inside Genie 3, Google's new world model generator. And finally, how Sima 2 actually works as a self-improving agent. So stay tuned. This isn't a person playing a video game. It's Sima 2. our most capable AI agent for virtual worlds. Worlds that are complex, responsive, and ever-changing, just like ours. Unlike earlier models, Sima 2 goes beyond simple actions to navigate and complete difficult, multi-step tasks. It understands multimodal prompts. And if you ask, Sima 2 will explain what it can see and what it plans to do next. Sima 2 can learn, reason, and improve by playing on its own, developing new skills and abilities without any human input. And the more Sima 2 plays, the better it becomes. Taking what it learns in one virtual world and applying it to the next, and the next, and the next. Even if it's never seen them before. Sima 2. Not just a milestone for training agents in virtual worlds, but a step towards creating AI that can help with any task, anywhere. Including, one day, in the real world. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. This really does feel like a major step toward AGI. As they mentioned in the video, Sima 2's architecture integrates Gemini's reasoning abilities, so it can actually think about what it's doing. That means Sima 2 can now explain its intentions to the user and describe the steps it's taking to accomplish a goal. This is why they say it feels like an interactive gaming companion. The addition of these powerful Gemini models also massively improves generalization and reliability. They say Sima 2 can now understand far more complex and nuanced instructions, and is much better at completing them, especially in games it's never been trained on. So, improved generalization. Obviously, another reason why this is such a big step toward AGI. And a perfect example of this is Sima 2's ability to transfer learned concepts. They write, for instance, taking its understanding of mining in one game and applying it to harvesting in another is foundational to achieving the kind of broad generalization seen in human cognition. Indeed, as a result of this ability, Sima 2's performance is significantly closer to that of a human player on a wide range of tasks. So the agent can go from a game like Minecraft, where it learns how to mine, to a game like Aska and somehow understand how to harvest. Similar idea, different mechanics. The implications of this are probably bigger than you realize. Here are actually some graphs that give us a better picture. This is task completion success rate. Basically, how well the agents complete tasks in 3D game worlds. The original Sima sits at 31%, while Sima 2 jumps all the way up to 65%. 
only about 11 percentage points below the human baseline. That means Sima 2 is almost as good as an average human, not at gaming in general, but at completing the specific tasks in their evaluation set. This one shows success rates in previously unseen environments, essentially how well they generalize. And again, Sima 2 blows Sima 1 out of the water, but it still has a long way to go before it reaches anything close to human level. Humans aren't even plotted here yet. Now, here is where things get interesting. Google calls this the ultimate test. They write, to test the limits of Sima 2's generalization abilities, we combined it with another groundbreaking research project, Genie 3, which can generate new, real-time 3D simulated worlds from a single image or text prompt. When we challenged Sima 2 to play in these newly generated worlds, we found it was able to sensibly orient itself, understand user instructions, and take meaningful actions toward goals, despite never having seen such environments before. So think about that for a second. We have an AI agent running on AI models, taking actions autonomously inside a 3D AI generated world created by an AI world generator, or more simply, an agent playing inside a world model. The fact that this even works is wild, but it gets even crazier when you realize it can actually self-improve inside these worlds. That's right, they claim Sima 2 can perform increasingly complex tasks through self-directed play and Gemini-based feedback. They write, after initially learning from human demonstrations, Sima 2 can transition to learning in new games exclusively through self-directed play, developing its skills in previously unseen worlds without additional human-generated data. In subsequent training, Sima 2's own experience data can then be used to train the next, even more capable version of the agent. They were even able to leverage Sima 2's capacity for self-improvement in newly created genie environments, a major milestone toward training general agents across diverse, generated worlds. So imagine Genie 3 running 24-7, spinning up hundreds or even thousands of worlds per minute, and then inside each one, multiple Sima 2 agents continuously learning on their own. This cycle of iterative improvement is what paves the way for open-ended embodied intelligence, agents that learn and grow with almost no human supervision. Eventually, these AI-generated environments will be so realistic that we'll essentially have infinite training data for embodied AI, aka humanoid robots. Now, finally, they close out with a section titled, Looking to the Future, the Journey to General Embodied Intelligence. They write, while Sima 2 is a significant step toward generalist, interactive, embodied intelligence, it is still fundamentally a research endeavor and its current limitations highlight critical areas for future work. They then go on to list some of those limitations, like completing long horizon tasks, the fact that it needs to have a limited context window to achieve low latency interaction, and its ability to execute precise low-level actions via keyboard and mouse. But again, they describe it as a big step toward truly generalist agents, and eventually toward robotics, where these systems can become embodied. Unfortunately, Sima 2 will only be released as a limited research preview to select academics and developers because of its self-improving nature. But Google plans to release it more broadly once it passes safety testing. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about Google's new breakthrough, Sima 2. It honestly feels like Google drops a bombshell every week now. Last week, it was solving catastrophic forgetting with nested learning. And now, a huge step toward AGI. Pretty insane. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. Am I overhyping it, or are you seeing what I'm seeing here? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the breakdown, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.